who work with assets that you download from a place like VectEasy. So I'm going to download this set of light bulb cartoons and I'm going to do a free download and I'm going to choose a free license and then wait for it to begin automatically. Now when this file downloads it is a compressed or zipped format so here in your downloads bar you have to double click it and if you're on a Mac Finder will unzip it for you. If you're on Windows it might take an extra step um, but basically you need to find it in Finder and open it and then if there is a .ai or a .svg or a .eps that is the one that you want to open in Illustrator um, and rather than trying to drag it directly into your project I'm going to try to open it side by side here with my project. So I have my light bulb cartoons and I have my poster. Um, and when I get these, usually this is all grouped together. And I'm going to want to just isolate what I want to work with. So you can um, Command Shift G or um, ungroup. And then let's see. Thankfully, the way the designer prepared this one is each light bulb is still its own group. Uh, I don't have to worry about like dragging a box around just the light bulb I want. So now, I don't know, I'll pick this guy, he's cute. I'm going to copy him with Command C, go back over to my poster, Command V. I can resize him, um, holding Shift to keep him constrained so he's not distorted. And, uh, oh, why did I always hit Enter? It's not the right move for this program. All right. So now I've got this asset and he's all grouped. You can see him over in the layers panel as a group. I'm going to name him light bulb with computer. Um, and something I didn't show you yet that you might want to know is a cool thing in the main menu at the top above where my mouse is. Uh, so we have, you know, file, edit, object, type, select, effect. Ooh, look, there's stylized, <gasps> drop shadow, outer glow, scribble. What would scribble do to him? I don't know. Will it show me? Nope, but let's see if I can <laughs> give him a drop shadow like I did on the words Curious Minds, although he looks bad with purple, so let's change him to black. Maybe a bigger offset. Smaller blur. Anyway. Uh, that's a couple steps for you. So yeah, you want to open the EPS, SVG, or AI file and open it side by side with your document, copy paste, and then you can resize it, holding shift to keep it constrained.